Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a breakdown on the costs of the parts for the Silverado LT4 supercharger swap, and then we're gonna talk about that for a second. Okay, so starting with the LT4 supercharger, I paid $1,600 on eBay for the LT4 supercharger. Next is gonna be the supercharger rebuild. Now this part is not gonna be a part of everybody's, if you decide to do this, I, had, I did this because it needed to be rebuilt. So this kind of added to my cost, but the total the total of the rebuild with shipping and everything was eight hundred dollars. Uh, the throttle body extension harness was fifty dollars. The intake and PCV hoses was two hundred and fifty dollars. The intercooler pump and the harness was three hundred and thirty dollars. The intercooler reservoir and hoses was three hundred dollars. The MAF sensor breakout harness, it took the IET sensor out of the MAF, the, M, the mass airflow, which is in the intake, and it moved it to the back of the supercharger into the MAP sensor. And it also converted it to an LT4 MAP sensor harness. That was $230 for that harness. The cylinder head adapters, in order to be able to put the supercharger on top of the L83, those were $600. The pulley system for the front, the idler pulley system, that was $110. The supercharger pulley itself, the adapter pulley was $200. The belt, I bought it off Amazon. Uh, I can't remember what size it is. I'll see if I can find the number. Uh, the belt itself was $20 from Amazon. It was a, a Gates belt. The spark plugs were $90. I had to change my spark plugs out. Uh, I'll go ahead and I'll link, I'm gonna link all this stuff in the description. So just so y'all know, if y'all wanna know everything where I got it, I'll link it all in the description. Let's see, the uh, throttle body adapter. I got it for $50. The LT4 throttle body, I bought that off Amazon for $115. The coolant temp sensor relocation kit was $70. And then the heat exchanger I bought used, it's a two, it was a 2016 uh, Z06 heat exchanger I bought used on eBay for $100. Okay, so let's go over here. I got a couple things that were that you may or may not need. It depends on whether you wanna tune it yourself or do like an email tune or whatever. But uh, HP tuners with the four credits in order to do that truck, that was um, $490 for HP tuners. Uh, the AEM wideband, was $227 and I paid for my tune $350. So this brings everything to a grand total of $5,962. Alright, okay, messed up on a total. Uh, I was off by 20 bucks. It's $5,982. Obviously you can you can buy different things. This better be on the right thing. Okay. Some of the parts are you have to buy from ADM Performance or ICT Billet. There's no, no one else makes the parts for adapter parts. Okay, but some of these parts you can source somewhere else. You could save some money on your LT4 throttle body. If you knew somebody that has one, you get one cheaper or whatever, okay? Uh, you actually can use the L83 throttle body. Uh, it, it, I had at one point, I had it on my truck and it ran just fine. So you can use that. Uh, you can save money, uh, like the belt. Uh, I saved money on the belt. I found the number of the belt I needed, bought it on Amazon instead of buying it from one of the uh, other companies, and it saved me like $40 there. Now you can buy these in a kit, all right? You can buy a full kit, and the kit's really not too bad. I don't remember exactly how much it is, but you can buy it from ADM Performance, and I, there's another website, I can't remember, I'll see if I can find out, that you can buy it from the full kit. And actually, you can get a full kit with the supercharger if you wanted to. So let's go over, uh, Let's go over my, kind of what's going on with the truck. So I've decided, I, I, I've actually already done it. <laughs> so I decided I'm, I'm not gonna do the supercharger anymore on the truck. I don't really, I couldn't get it to run correctly and I'd already spent the money on the tune and my it's not my tuner's fault. I think it has to do with the Texas heat. Uh, I was gonna have to get a bigger intercooler reservoir. I mean, it's just like I was constantly having to throw money into it, which I know race car things, huh? So it wasn't a race car, but anyway. Uh, I didn't want to throw any more money into it. So I decided, and I made my decision, as a matter of fact, I already sold it. Uh, I pulled it off. I've already sold the supercharger kit. I'm moving on to something else. We'll talk about that at a later date. Um, so if you're wanting to do this swap, 
uh, there's a couple things I do recommend that you do that are kind of the kind of something that I, I would if I did something different this is what I would do I would suggest a bigger intercooler reservoir uh, probably like at least a three gallon uh, I know I think it's I don't know if you how you said the company Cordes or Cords uh, they make one specifically for that truck it's like a three gallon could be a five gallon I can't remember anyway uh, they make a bigger one uh, upgrade the intercooler but before you spend the money on the on the the intercooler reservoir and hoses look into maybe a different reservoir you can save the money there and put it towards a bigger reservoir and build your own hoses I mean you can just use a heater hose um, that that would be one of the suggestions I make I didn't do that so I would have had to spend that money and then everything else and it's just something I didn't want to do uh, but we're gonna move on uh, we've got obviously the terrace truck her C10 here we're gonna work on we got some stuff coming up for that here pretty soon oh we hit, us, we hit 100 subscribers. That's awesome. Thank you all so much for subscribing to our channel. Uh, we really appreciate it. It means a lot that it shows that what we're doing you like. <laughs> so uh, stay tuned. Uh, coming up, we're C10 stuff. So if you want to check out all the stuff on the, uh, on the Silverado, you can check it out right here. Thank you all so much for watching. We really appreciate it. Y'all have a great day.